Hi guys, sorry about this late one. I've been relatively busy over the last couple of days. Um, and also, like, I'm just, I'm going to be brutally honest here, I just really couldn't be asked filming myself for one of those, one or two of those days. But yeah, back now, and I am here to review the movies. And so the first one on my list of things to do was Burlesque, um, starring Cher and Christina Aguilera, um, the supporting roles from Stanley Tucci, some mildly attractive guy that's in a couple of movies, he's in Never Back Down, um, and who's that other one? Someone I think it was the OC, the dad or some shit, but yeah, um, while watching it, I felt like I was watching a big episode of Glee or some crap, just like... They just sung and there's a little bit of dialogue and it was like heartache, oh she ran away from home, blah blah blah. Oh life's so bad, oh falls in love with the roommate, obvious, blah 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 blah. Uh, and then what topped it off is there's a person from Glee in the movie that ends up being the roommate's thing. And it was just look, it was actually quite decent. The music was well done. It was like, you know, the dance scene seemed too well put together. Not that I know anything about that, but it just was one big cliche. Um an example I don't want to give too much away, but there's this one big problem throughout the movie, like, you know, losing the club. And then, you know, it was kind of fixed within five lines of dialogue, like it wasn't an issue. And I think, I mean, you know, could you develop towards that or something? But no. Um, so, look, not a terrible movie by any standards, but, look, I've heard good things about it in the way that it was interesting to watch. I just didn't see anything like that. Um, it just, it was one big cliche. And it was like, look, Christina Aguilera was good to look at, but that's not something that's going to keep me entertained for a whole movie. Um, Cher wore two revealing clothes. She's like 60. That was disgusting. And, you know, just the whole, it felt like you knew what was going to happen before it happened. It was just, it was like paint by numbers. I wasn't a big fan of it, but you know what? Things like that, that you know, shit happens. Um, second movie was Too Big to Fail. And I really enjoyed this movie. This is a movie that was made for television on HBO in America. And it just happened to be on... Um, it was actually on After Burlesque Finished. And so I just switched over and I saw the last five minutes. So I'm like, okay. Go on to Showtime Plus 2, record, watch it tomorrow, and I did. It was really interesting. It was good to see. Um, I tend to think of myself as well-informed and up-to-date with current and you know current events in global. But I think when all this happened, you know, the global, it was about the global financial crisis. When all this happened, I was still quite young. And even now, I don't know a lot about the banking things. And this kind of went through the government's the American government's job into trying to avoid what eventually did happen um, trying to bail out um, investment banks and things like that and companies and it um, was quite well put together it went through the collapse of Lehman Brothers and how that I can't remember which department was um, fought to save the other ones and how you know multiple problems arose and how you know things like that happen. It was really um, good to see. It kind of explained it in layman's terms, so I was able to understand, okay, this happened, and it kind of gave a couple of, you know, important social messages, like um, the things that we all knew, but you kind of run at home, like, you know, the banks in the world don't have the money. If everyone went to pull out the money they had in the bank, there's physically not enough cash in the world to give you that. And it told things like that, and it um, went through the massive corporations in America how and how that they have gotten so big that they are actually too big to fail in the way that if they did fail the whole economy would be ruined and that's why that this department had to try and save them and so I actually highly re recommend this movie it was actually it was really enjoyable to watch it not in that it was in thrilling it was good to learn something while watching a movie and whether it was dramatized for Hollywood or whatever I enjoyed it. In my little cocoon bubble where I don't know much, I came out of that movie thinking I knew just a little bit more. Um, <laughs> the second the um, second last movie, A Few Good Men. I love this movie. 
um, for multiple reasons, actually. Um, Tom Cruise back then was a good actor. And while now he's all Scientology, he's like, I love Katie Holmes, I love Katie Holmes. His role in this is fantastic. For those who haven't watched it, it's about a marine... It's about it's about Jag, and um, he's a marine lawyer, and how he has to try and defend these two people, and how that their actions were the result of their general, and they have to try and show that it was the general, and not them, and that they're not to blame. And it was actually really interesting to watch. <laughs> it's such a good movie, and like this so, goes for a while, but there's so many good lines of dialogue, and everyone knows that you can't handle the truth bit. I love that bit. I say that all the time. We actually, I actually did it off topic a bit here, but I did that. We had a legal class. We did mock trial, and we actually incorporated that in. To that was really funny, but um, <laughs> yeah, a few good men. One of my favorite movies. Um, not only has it got good acting, it, not only is it a good movie, but the acting. You know, quite well. I think Tom Cruise has actually fit the, you know, bleary eyed, you know, I really only doing this job just because I was really forced to basically and then he kind of progresses throughout the movie. His progression is believable. You know, you get it. Um Demi Moore, I think it was Demi Moore, as his um helper, you know, she's believable. The two soldiers, quite interesting to watch the moon trouble. Jack Nich Nicholson is the general fantastic car. Um, the last movie, Dodgeball. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. It's a fantastic movie, funny, Ben Stiller, um, Owen Wilson. Um, the cast is absolutely funny. The movie's absolutely pissed I love this movie. We used to watch it four times a week when I was, you know, 13. It was just the funniest movie ever. And, like, I found out what bisexual means through this movie. I mean, just the whole concept of Dodgeball as an actual proper sport is laughable and then the way they go about it and Globo Gym and oh I absolutely adore this movie it's one of my favourites it, it, it's a, like a pick me up movie that I watch when I'm bored or upset or whatever it's just funny I love it um so my ratings for them burlesque 5 out of 10 um too big to fail probably about 8 a few good men 9.5 and, and dodgeball 9.5 um, sorry these reviews were a little bit shorter, I just wanted to get them out and, um, I think I could be going to see Sherlock Holmes tonight, and so that could be the next movie I watch, what, there's a new movie that I'm going to review, um, but if not, I think it might be the Pokemon movie, the second one, Pokemon 2000, but, oh, I'll find something, I don't know, if we just... I have my stash over there, and I have my hard, I have my hard drive. So we'll definitely find something, and I'll get back to you. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed your weekend. It's Sunday after late afternoon here, so um, yeah.